Inside this is Transformers, War for Cybertron, Trilogy, Netflix, Voyager Class, Megatron, and that purple guy. But anyway, this is the show we try to answer the question. Here is the alt mode, man. I'm, I mean, Siege Megatron himself. It's been what four years now since he came out. Um, I, I did have a look at one guy uh, that's the same mold as him, supposedly, and yet I still, I st the the <laughs> the legs really are the tricky part. Uh, took me nine and a half minutes to figure it all out. Um, it looks like there's something here that I'm still missing that I, I missed a step, but um, it's it's. A Cybertron tank, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really n nothing to see or do or say about this guy. Oh, there you go. It's it's just it's just a um, what you might call it. It is just some alt mode. What I'm really after from this guy is the um, robot mode. All right. I mean, that, so that was nine and a half minutes. And I, I still don't have Earthrise Megatron, man. Um, gotta look for that. Hopefully I can find it cheap. But because I, I prefer that tank mode over this. Um, I don't know if there are any fan modes of this one, you know, because it's G1 Megatron. But anyway, that being said, really, I, I was after the robot mode for this one. The paint, when I first saw the first Netflix Megatron, man, I really wanted to have that. But I got this instead. It's not bad. It's good enough. It does the same thing for me. Um, let's just look at the robot mode now. Well, here finally is Transformers Netflix War for Cybertron Trilogy. The, uh, from the two-pack, spoiler pack, Megatron um, Voyager class. Robot mode, man. It, it's just so much better than the original Siege one. I mean, who knew? If, if we knew this was coming out, we, I, we wouldn't have bought the Siege one, would we? But yeah, I mean, um, and, and the original Netflix one, to be honest, I, I prefer that over this. Um, but, uh, well, this is what we got. It's too bad there's no paint here. It's really just there. Maybe it looks better in photos or in camera. And, um, maybe the original Netflix one looks better. But yeah, I mean, I got this for cheap, so really can't complain. Um, yeah, that's basically Siege Megatron, G1-ish, if you will. Took me three minutes to transform him from alt mode to robot mode. Um, I don't know why it took that long. Yeah, I, I guess I had you know, some things I needed to figure out or I forgot. But basically, one of the things that's not going in the favor of this thing is um, it is it has tight joints, and that contributed to the part of that's really the part of the problem. That's why it took me nine minutes, more than nine minutes, to transform him from robot to alt mode. And of course, I, I forgot, how, I always forget how the legs go in. Um, I mean, it's not like I do this every day, you know, but it is what it is. So yeah, is it a great figure? Of course it is. Um, to be honest, I, I, I regret not buying the 35th anniversary, is it? 30th anniversary, no, 35th anniversary version of this guy and Optimus Prime because I thought, hey, I already have that mold, but I, I really should have bought that. And again, I still don't have the Earthrise Megatron. I really want that for the Hulk mode. I want this for the robot mode. But yeah, that is it for this episode. Once again, this is the show where we try to answer the question, is it difficult to transform? Today we answered that question talking about this guy, Transformers, Swamp for Cybertron Trilogy, Voyager Class Megatron. 
that something feels off about it, you know, to be honest. But anyway, um, yeah, the answer to that question is a no. That is it for this episode. We hope you like this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As well, not least, please share this video with your friends, family, your loved ones, and everybody you know, including your enemies, because they might start to like you again. As Alphonse Prime would always say, and until next time, the Septicons retreat!